so very good evening to you all today we will go to the depth of the chapter of the cell as we know for class 9th yesterday we have started the chapter cell today we will go depth of it today we shall learn what are cell organelles cell organelles are the very minute or fine membrane bound structure present inside the cell they are multitasking Today we shall know that what are the main function of the cell organelles and how they are helping our body to do our basic and day to day work. We cannot simply ignore these cell organelles though they are very much minute but their each and every function is very important for us to sustain in our life. Now one by one we will see to it but before going through the cell, through the cell organelles first I would like to uh, throw some light upon uh, just about a brief description on cell organelles. Cell organelles are the fine membrane bound structures present in the cell. They are so much minute that even sometimes the compound microscope are failed to spot some kind of cell organelles. Sometimes the cell organelles are so much transparent that the light will go across it. So there will be no refraction or reflection and we cannot see it properly. For that we need to stain the cell to see the cell organelles. Now starting with the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is a kind of cell organelle which is known as the structural framework of the cell. Why? Because it provides the cell a proper structure. Now what is the proper structure? Like in our body skeleton system is there, right? So we are having a well defined skeletal system in our body. What is the work of that skeletal system? The skeletal system provide a particular shape to our body. Similarly, the endoplasmic reticulum is acting as a skeletal system for the cell. It is providing a proper shape to the cell. Now, the endoplasmic reticulum is made up of lots of stuffs, right? Like uh, vesicles, tubules and cisternae. C-I-S-T-E-R-N-A-E, cisternae. It is given in page number 18 in your book. So cisternae is the fluid filled spaces which allows the endoplasmic reticulum to work properly. The tubules are fine network kind of things, fine tube or network or tubular network kind of things which allows the endoplasmic reticulum to function properly and to do variety of function. Apart from this, the vesicles. The vesicles are that part of the endoplasmic reticulum which helps the endoplasmic reticulum to transport whatever things the endoplasmic reticulum is processing. Like some metabolites, like some uh, fats or some proteins it will help the vesicle will help that to transport it now the endoplasmic reticulum is having two parts ser and rer soft endoplasmic reticulum or smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum you can use both the terms soft or smooth both are okay no problem at all now how are they characterized how can we understand that it is smooth or rough or soft Soft endoplasmic reticulum or smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It is not having any ribosomes present on its surface. But the rough endoplasmic reticulum do have the presence of presence of those ribosomes. Now, what happens is the ribosomes which is present in the rough endoplasmic reticulum helps in the synthesizing of the protein. But since the smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not have any ribosomes, it helps in the synthesization of carbohydrates and fats. I hope this is understood. Now, again I will repeat it. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not have ribosomes, so it helps in the synthesization of carbohydrates and fats. Rough endoplasmic reticulum do have ribosomes, it helps in the synthesization of proteins. I hope it's clear to you. Now, next. Next are of course ribosomes. In page number 19 it is given. Now what are ribosomes? Ribosomes are the small small granular like structure present in the endoplasmic reticulum. What are their function? As spoke earlier that ribosomes will help the synthesizing of protein. But here we need to understand two things. There are two units of ribosomes. Larger subunit and smaller subunit. Both the units larger as well as the smaller together works and synthesize the proteins. For that the smaller subunit since it is having a smaller size but surface area is large it will start the processing and larger subunit of the ribosome will end up the processing. 
you can also go through in page number 19 figure table 1.6 the difference between rough endoplasmic reticulum and south uh, sorry uh, smooth or soft endoplasmic reticulum mark it as very important now we will go rough endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum the endoplasmic reticulum whole topic along with the ribosome ends here please do see the video properly and try to understand next one is mitochondria what is mitochondria mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell everyone knows from our childhood itself we are being explained that it is the powerhouse of the cell but how how it is known as the powerhouse of the cell who has given the name as the powerhouse powerhouse of the cell actually what happens is the work of the mitochondria is very much typical we need to understand it there are two energy currencies in our body adp d ad dp adenosine diphosphate and one is atp t for trinidad atp adenosine triphosphate di and tri di and tri means in one in one compound there will be two group of phosphorus in other compound there will be three groups of phosphorus two and three now what happens when the energy is created it will be created in the form of adp but in the mitochondria it will process very nicely and adp will be converted wholly into atp whenever we will, we are in short of energy or whenever we require energy now here we need to understand what happens when the energy is prepared it is prepared in the form of adp it remains in the mitochondria now the criste c r i s t a e criste criste is the finger like projection that like the like the human finger but this human finger will be only visible in the criste when we will go microscopically it cannot be visible by the naked eyes so here we have to understand this it is a finger like projection which increases the surface of the mitochondria to absorb more and more adp coming from the different sources now once the criste has absorbed the adp and our body requires energy the adp will convert into atp adenosine triphosphate since the adenosine triphosphate is the energy currency it will be very nicely consumed by our body and within no time our body will consume it and the energy will be provided to our body and how this adp will be converted into atp there are two things one is the oxisomes and the second is the criste oxisomes are also known as the f1 particles oxisomes are also known as f1 particles as well as they are also known as elementary particles so these oxisomes or f1 particles or elementary particles along with the cyst cisternae or the criste cisternae also you can say or criste also we can say both are correct the criste or the cisternae with the help of this oxisome or f1 particles what they will do they will convert this adp into atp and finally we will be full of energy am i clear till here so these are the three cell organelles the next one is the golgi apparatus we need to understand it golgi apparatus is the cell organelle which provides a source of protein in our body now in plants this golgi apparatus is known as dicytosomes some are telling it as dicytosome some are telling it as dictyosomes d i c t y s o m e s okay dictyosomes or dicytosomes d i c t y o s o m e s dictyosomes or dicytosomes both are clear both are okay no problem in pronunciation now this golgi apparatus or dictyosomes in plants having several role what first we need to understand from where this golgi apparatus originated the golgi apparatus found its origination from endoplasmic reticulum only now this golgi apparatus is having two phases one is the cis phase cis another one is the trans phase t r a n s trans phase cis and trans cis and t r a n s trans phase cis phase and the trans phase these are the two phases of the golgi apparatus cis phase as well as the trans phase so what happens is whatever the golgi apparatus will get from the different sources it will process in the cis phase 
it will get the processing in the cis phase and finally the trans phase will deliver it for example a protein came from endoplasmic reticulum fine it will first reach the cis phase cis phase will process the protein and make the protein acceptable to the body finally through the trans phase the protein will be delivered out i hope this will give you enough knowledge regarding this four cell organelles just go through the video properly see to the cell organelles match it with the text and then understand the video properly thank you next day again we will go through uh, the different cell organelles thank you please go through the video properly